Hello and welcome to the channel. March anniversary sale on AliExpress is in full swing, and I thought I'd share the timepieces that are on my to buy wishlist for the reviews in the upcoming weeks. This time I decided to open up my price range wider, and I even included a couple of somewhat interesting timepieces priced well under $15. Yes. You heard me right, that is 1.5, so it should be interesting. Also, I already posted my full recommendation list a few days ago, which contains mostly the watches that I already reviewed. Do check it out as well, the link, of course, will be in the description. Now, a few watches on this list are already purchased and they are on their way to my studio, so don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss those upcoming reviews. And of course, all the links to the listings in this video will be in the description too. And as a quick disclaimer, those are affiliate links, which without costing you anything extra will help me to run this channel, so thank you very much. And now, without any further ado, let's get on with this list. This one is very attractive and, judging by the sale numbers, a very popular watch. All the premium materials and, of course, a homage to even possibly more popular Swiss diver. Priced at the point of introduction closer to $200, now it can be purchased for almost half that price. I finally purchased it and it is on the way to my studio. It is available in a number of different colorways, so we are spoiled for choice. However, the dark blue colorway is not available on this particular listing, so I included another link which has it in stock. However, it is about $20 more. Bit annoying, but it's good to have a choice. Ok, Pagani Design took their sweet time with this GMT release, and it is finally here. So, this is version 4 of their very popular homage. This time we get an upgraded movement, that is Seiko NH34 GMT caliber, and Pagani Design also reckoned they improved the loom on this version too. Which is very exciting news, especially taking into account that Pagani Design watches are well known for their rubbish loom performance. So, yes, this one is definitely on my wish list. By the way, I did review the previous version of this watch, which, funny enough, cost me about $140, and, to be honest, it is still a very good watch, it's still going strong, and I will leave a link to my review in the description if you want to check it out. Surprise, surprise, we have another Pagani design on my list. This time it hits two points for me. First, I do have a soft spot for Planet Ocean design, which is this Pagani design is, of course, homaging. And second, I really like sharp prices, which is also the case here. I did a review of another quite impressive Planet Ocean homage from Felida a few months ago, and it would be interesting to put these two head to head. By the way, my Felida review link will be in the description too, so check it out if you're interested. I reviewed a few Cadison homages recently, and they are very good and very affordable. Yes, two of my favorite qualities for a good timepiece. There are a few brands on AliExpress that took a stab with a certain level of success at homaging Grand Seiko watches, and it looks like Cadison is moving in step with the trend and released this very interesting, at least on the product pictures, timepiece, which is also very affordable. So it is now on my wish list, and I'll see if I can get it in for review. And now, for around 12 bucks, we can have this quite interesting tuna homage. And before you dismiss it, let me point out a few things here. First, it looks like we have a solid link bracelet, quite interesting dial that features date and even some loom. And it says on the back that we have a stainless steel construction, although it doesn't specify if it is the whole watch or just the back case. And let's not forget that the $3000 Seiko Tuna Diver also features a quartz movement. And yes, did I mention that this watch priced at only 12 bucks? And by the way, this is not the only super affordable timepiece on my list. I have another one coming up a bit later. Ok, and this is an absolutely stunning looking watch from Bordery, and it is on its way to my studio for review. I really like how Bordery discounted this very new model for this anniversary sale, and I also love how they keep on experimenting with different materials, titanium and bronze in this particular case. We have a bunch of different colorways on offer, each one is interesting in their own right. I think if you are after a really cool piece for the upcoming summer holidays, this Bordery model is a perfect choice. And the next watch is Corjou, which looks like they decided to experiment with some interesting dial patterns. This looks like a definite nod to a mega wall timer, and it looks very interesting. Corjou still uses an H35 movement here, so the world timer looks are, yes, more for looks rather than functionality. Still, we have a solid build and premium materials here, including sapphire crystal and full stainless steel construction. And of course, a very sharp price too. 
What we have here is a very competitive offering from Edis Dive, which is a homage to a Seiko's Marine Master 300. I did a review of this similar model from Steel Dive, which is very similar to this one, to the point that they might be coming out from the same production line, except this Edis Dive is noticeably cheaper. I was really impressed by the Steel Dive version, I will link that review in the description, however, I paid close to $150 for that watch, which makes this $112 Edis Dive an excellent value proposition. Now, next watch on my list is this Black Bay 54 homage from Kronos. I reviewed a similar homage from Saint Martin and it is excellent. I will leave the link to that review in the description. However, this Kronos offers a very solid timepiece for even more competitive price of around $160 during this anniversary sale. Plus, it has a riveted bracelet, which is more in line with the vintage aesthetics, and we also get a high beat PT5000 movement in the base model and option to upgrade to Swiss Celine. SW200, and we even have an option with fully loomed bezel, which San Martin doesn't have. And Kronos also included this milled double pusher clasp with a quick on the fly extension. And before I present you the second cheapest offering on my list, let's look at the most expensive one. This is an ESOP $235 Tubion, which is possibly at the time of making this video is the cheapest Tubion on AliExpress. Actually, possibly not just on AliExpress, but cheapest Tubion, period. Normally priced at, at least in mid 300s or even closer to $500, this is insanely good value proposition. And as I promised, this is the second super budget timepiece on my list. This Captain Willard homage has all the right proportions and even features inverted end links stainless steel bracelet. And by the way, while strolling the interweb for some watch bargains, I came across this listing on Amazon USA, which seemed to sell the same watch for about $65. So, looks like you can save yourself 50 bucks by buying it on AliExpress, leaving you with enough change to buy another watch. And to complete the list with a couple of more budget offerings, we have this Spectrum Sony homages to a very popular watch from Tissom. So, about 40 bucks will buy you a quartz version of this Spectrum Sony. And as you can see, we have plenty of colorways to choose from. However, if quartz movement is not exactly a cup of tea and you are more inclined to go for a bit extra, we have this model with Japanese Miyota 8215 automatic mechanical movement and, yes, plenty of colorways to choose from. And of course, if you want to see my recommendation list of the watches that I already reviewed, I will put a link to that video on the screen somewhere over here. So, here you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss all those upcoming future reviews. Thank you for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next video.